unneeded services. It's going to slow it down completely. so bad. Under a shroud of urgency, a team of graduate students is preparing to defend a data network that will soon be under attack. Give me a default gateway, please, Ryan. The students are practicing for the Pacific Rim Regional Collegiate Cyber Defense Competition, sponsored in part by Boeing, Deloitte, Intel, Microsoft, and the CIA. Wow. During the competition between 11 different colleges, UW students will be testing their ability to protect enterprise networks and information systems. It's a proving ground of sorts for soon-to-be cybersecurity professionals graduating from the University of Washington. We've set up a system of completely insecure uh, virtual machines and we're patching, fixing, taking unneeded users out, turning off unnecessary services to prepare to be attacked. The purpose of this exercise is to expose young minds to the types of real-life emergency situations they'll face when they walk out these doors. It's, you learn through practice. Just about every week there's a couple of stories about cyber intrusion. The competition is organized by Barbara endicott Popovsky, director of the Center for Information Assurance and Cybersecurity at the University of Washington Information School. Nation states are very actively involved in stealing one's, uh, one another's intellectual property and nation's secrets. So the smart criminals have certainly discovered that the crime online is very difficult to trace. Nothing should be happening on that computer. Smart criminals can only be stopped by smart detectives. In this case, cyber detectives. That's why the iSchool has created the Center for Information Assurance and Cybersecurity. It's recognized as one of the top cybersecurity centers in the country. We are very unusual compared to other centers of excellence. Most of those have come out of a technology perspective. At the information school, people are active participants from computer science, from EE, from information science, from law, from economics, from urban planning, and we collaborate on projects. What would happen economically to this region if a, a facility like this were damaged either from man-made or um, natural disasters? Ginger Armbuster is pursuing a master's in infrastructure planning and management. Her interests exemplify the interconnective nature of cybersecurity. I think the world has changed. Everything is connected. So when we think about our water infrastructure and we think about telecommunications, they're all connected and the connecting component um, is technology, is, is computer technology. And so cybersecurity is really a, a concept of securing and making safer, because you cannot completely make safe, but making safer the systems that we rely on for our food delivery systems, electrical systems, water, all of the infrastructures that we, we depend on uh, for our economic and social well-being. Making systems safer, it's a daunting task. But soon, these students will be out in the real world doing just that. The government themselves have come out in the last couple of years and they've talked about a need for tens of thousands of people in government positions that can help inject a, a perspective on cybersecurity and their various roles. We can't find these people. So uh, we're, we're providing uh, for a national need. We're uh, providing for local and regional needs. We're doing something for the country. Uh, I just think it's a win-win all the way around.